So today guys we check out the Warlock's new subclass come beyond light. It's called the Shade Binder and about an hour ago Bungie dropped details on this new subclass. Now if you guys do find this video helpful leaving a like truly helps me out and yes I know I'm probably behind on this information and that's likely due to the fact I ain't a part of any Bungie content creator list where details are sent out early. Man those used to be the great old days. Ok so looking at the post they dropped we can see in which the way these new subclasses work and that they are miles different to how they currently do. It's quite clear they will be far more customizable, which is a great thing in the long run in my opinion. So checking out what was released in 4 wise here. They state, each state is subclass in Beyond Light will give players the ability to customize abilities like grenades, movement modes, class abilities and so on with. In addition we've added new layers of customization with the addition of aspects and fragments. Aspects manifest as physical items in the world, such as a crystallized Vex Conflux or a robotic fallen arm for example. When slotted in, aspects will offer players new abilities among other effects. These abilities can be mixed and matched freely by the player. Many aspects will have space for fragments to be slotted in. Fragments are also physical items you can discover in the world that when applied to aspects offer additional passive perks such as stat bonuses that may come with penalties. Aspects upgrades are unique to each status subclass, while fragment slots are class agnostic. How players combine these two different types of upgrades will lead to a range of customizable options. Further examples of how this works. A warlock finds a frost pulse aspect in the world and equips it. This aspect augments their rift ability, which now freezes any enemy course in the field. The Frost Pulse aspect also has a fragment slot available, allowing further customization. This warlock decides to slot in the Whisper fragment that replenishes some of their class ability energy upon shattering enemies. They have now set themselves up with a nice one two punch, and if played skillfully, can use this combo frequently. So, in short, this new way of building our very own subclass is kind of like what we have now with our grenade class ability and movement mode i.e. jump but also with this extra added benefit of the fragments and aspects. So what I get from this and what I seem to learn from this, we won't have three different paths to select like we do now. Let's take the Hunter's Arc Strider for instance, the Wear the Warrior, Current and Wind. These will not be an option with the new Stasis subclasses, but they don't mention them anyway. But it does seem as though there's a few other options we can select from, but we'll get into them in a second. But what we will have is different abilities in terms of aspects and fragments to customize what we can do with this build. Now how these seem to work as of what I can see from this article, aspects are things we find out in the wild. No doubt there will be certain activities we might have to complete to get certain aspects, which would be kind of cool, but I could see be worrying for some people who play the game. Or they could just be completely random world drops, that I ain't too sure on though. Now these aspects like we see with this frost pulse add additional benefits to your build. Casting your rift generates a shockwave that freezes nearby combatants. Now we also see this has three fragment slots and I guess that's what we get when this one is selected and put into our build. Now it seems we can have two aspects selected at the same time. So I believe a possible of six fragments in total maybe? And fragments are also additional abilities we can add to our builds. These are also abilities we can find out in the wild. Now these I don't believe are tied to the aspects. It's just aspects will offer more fragment slots it seems. So they ain't it seems certain fragments tied or locked to certain aspects. Now these fragments offer abilities which seemingly directly affect our builds in terms of mobility, recovery, stats etc etc. As you can see with this whisper of the bonds, defeating frozen targets with weapons grants you super energy. But this takes away 10 stat points from intellect and discipline within your build. And I guess there might be others that do similar thing. Maybe there may be ones that add to these, we don't know yet. Now my first thoughts on this is I actually love the idea and the level of customization options that might be available here could be quite good. I just hope they've been tested properly because I can already see some crazy things being created here. Now looking further into these images we can see it does seem that there are certain other options available within certain perks of this stasis subclass. We can see it seems there are two options within this ability right here and also on this ability. Now what these are we have no idea. We smaller non-budgy hotlist content creators have no idea but surely others may do. But all in all guys I'm pretty excited about these new subclasses. 
Now they promise to showcase the 100 the Titan come soon, and I will cover those if you like my breakdown of this one. And yeah, on that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more D2, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.